So, this is my uh, comment on police. And, uh, well, the ones out here in Canada. I can't speak about places where I haven't been. I've been arrested in Vancouver, Montreal, Ontario. Uh, yeah, pretty much. One time in Manitoba. Why, why are people all out here protesting like it's white cops attacking uh, immigrants, oppressing immigrants? When I see cops where I've been, they're of all colors. There's black cops, there's white cops, there's Asian cops. East Indian cops of all colors, all shapes and sizes. There may be more white people, but that's because just in general, there's more white people out here. But there's still... Montreal is, is very multi... When you walk down the street, it's all colors, all shapes, all sizes. People are doing this like it's systemic racism. What, what do you mean? What do you mean? It's systemic oppression is what it is. Cops will all fuck you up no matter what color they are. They oppress the lower classes. That's what they do. They're classists. I don't know. That's what they do. A black cop will fuck up a white guy, and the white guy will hold him, the white cop that will be with him will hold him down. Vice versa, a white cop will be fucking up a black guy, and the black cop will be holding down the black guy. I had my jaw broke when I was 18. Okay? Guess who did it? White cops. And I'm half Mexican. When you look at me, you, you would think I'm a white guy completely. I didn't speak Spanish to them. I didn't have a big... I actually had given them a, a fake name that was like a really a French, French-Canadian sounding. And I still got fucked up. They didn't know my, my real name. What did I tell them? I told them it was Daniel Rabiard. I told him the most French name I could think of at that time. It was actually the name of my mom's ex-boyfriend, but whatever. They'll fuck you up regardless of your color. If you fuck with them, if you don't fuck with them, if they want to fuck with you. See, See this scar right here? An East Indian CO did it. And he was, I was getting fucked up by him. And the other COs that were there, for those that don't know, COs, correctional officer, it's a prison guard. They were of all colors. Cops are of all colors, shapes, sizes, origins. I don't know, is that not politically correct to say color anymore? If I start talking in Spanish to a, a Spanish cop, and he's with a white cop as his partner. You think that Spanish cop is gonna fucking is gonna stand up for me because I'm a, I'm his people? Hmm. All these people in the biggest cities protesting. In those cities, there's cops of all colors. Why is it being a racist thing? It's a cop thing, a cop thing versus lower class thing. That's what it really is. But it's being turned into a separation of, uh, it's being turned into racism. Cops are oppressors, oppress the lower class. They don't, they don't care about your skin color. They don't care. They'll fuck up their own kind the same, the same as they'll fuck up someone else. Of course, there's racism. But the problem with with, with police force is not. 
really racism first. It's just their attitude. It's their superior, your superiority complex. They feel like they're stronger. They want to save the world. And to those that say that there's good cops, you think if a good cop sees a bad cop shooting someone, the good cop is going to speak up? You think the good cop is going to say, yeah. They don't snitch on each other. They're like a gang. They don't snitch on each other. The thing is when gang, gang members get caught and they face jail time, a lot of them do snitch. Cops would do the same, except they don't get arrested. They're the ones that put people in jail. They would rat each other right out. If they would say, oh, well, tell me right now if, that, if your fellow officer shot someone or you're going to jail. They would rat right away. Believe me. There are people that are confused. They join it thinking they're doing well. And then no matter what, like, for example, I, I went to the, the metro station. Okay. There was 20 police officers there maybe two months ago. I'd gone down. I, I, that was like the first video I ever took to put on the fucking map on the YouTube. I went down. When I had passed them, there was 20 cops there doing I don't know what to avoid the social distancing. At that time, the COVID was fresh, so nobody was out. They were all convinced it was real. I said, hey, can I take a picture? They said, no. Now I'm willing to bet out of all those 20 cops, there was probably some that had just worked for one or two years. They didn't even think that as in, you, know, you need to hide yourself. You're the good guys, but you need to hide yourself of what you're doing. And then you convince yourself you're the good guys. At least, at least police officers in other countries, poorer countries, know exactly what they are when they join that fucking police force. It's a criminal. They're going to be committing crimes. They're going to be robbing people. They're going to be selling drugs. But the ones here, they, they live in a Hollywood fairy fairy tale land most of the time, and then they they realize, fuck, work, do crook. How did it, how did he say? They're as crooked as the ones they're chasing. <laughs> yeah. Anyways.